You see y'all, see how y'all keep missing out on these good men, ladies? You see how y'all keep missing out on the good ones? Now, nah, look, he got health care coverage, 401k. He got uh, good benefits. He can get you to the doctor. He can get you that dental plan. You know what I'm saying? He got vision, uh, all of that. You know what I'm saying? And y'all missed out on a good brother. He said he chose y'all and y'all didn't choose back. How you know he's good? You like anime? Like you like anime, Devin? What's I up? know what, Q? Anime? I couldn't hear you. What's up? Do you like anime, Japanese cartoons? Oh, yeah, you like anime. Not not to the extreme. Yeah, he like he Dragon Ball See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you don't See, know. On Twitter, you refer to as, on Twitter, you refer to as women anime don't here. like guys yeah. that are doing the things that if he not out here listening to Young Thug, but he out here doing anime, you know what I'm saying? If he's a Nintendo fan, if he any of that shit. No, out. Y'all don't want to do that shit. No, I wouldn't say I'm an anime dude. I'm like, just as I would say, I did one show growing up. That was anime. That's it. No, I'm just fine. But yeah, like they just they often refer to guys like who don't you know go uh, after like who who like white girl. They refer to him as like the anime nigga or whatever. But he just said that he didn't even he didn't she the white girl went after him. Do you think black women um, don't like nerdy black men or? I wouldn't even say I was nerdy. I was. I was. I don't mean like in a, in a bad way at all. You gotta have. You gotta be nerdy with like a, a like a serious edge, but for the most part, like no, yeah. no nigga, you got you gotta be like a like a bad boy. Like I had like this, I went on this one lady show and she and she specifically told me like for forty minutes why black women don't like me. Remember that shit, Anton. <laughs> I remember. I remember. But I was like, the white I, I went to the doctor the day and got the nurse's number, and she was white. Yeah, what was the reason she gave you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say it? No, I'm just saying. But and, and I, I would. I want to add it. One little uh, piece back onto the topic is I think one thing is like I think there's still an importance for mothers. I just think nobody understands. That that side of it because it's always single mothers and you always see mostly the fathers. But I've like I've been in situations where like in the community I am where the, uh, I, you had to go through like a selection process and the guy didn't get selected because he had a bad taste of you know how he viewed women and it was because he was you know raised by his father and he never saw that you know social dynamics. So I think it's more of like good question. Forget all of that. Do you did did did, did the black women miss out on you? <laughs> I would say I make multiple six figures. You know, mm. that's uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> Talk to you. Talk to run your run your run your resume down. What 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 they miss out on, big dog? Uh, I spent was it? Le I got hundred percent disability from the military. Spent like seven years in the special operations community. Got out, went into tech at Amazon. Make multiple six figures. I do bodybuilding. Uh, you know, all the sports stuff. So I don't know. Came from no, a, no, no, no. Talk, talk your shit. I like that. <laughs> came from a nuclear family. You know, they they were my parents were married when I was in the household. So know how to pronounce all your consonants and vowels. I, I got you. Listen, oh, yeah. listen, listen. <laughs> these women keep talking about how there are no good men out here, but they are lying. They are lying through their teeth. There are so many good dudes, and y'all don't prefer them. Y'all reject them. But but the, his, his archetype is 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 rejected like in our race as a whole, not even just by women though, but by like our own community. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you grew up in a good neighborhood or you 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 know you didn't you, you had a good if you, upbringing. If you grew up with the whites, yeah, with the black, the, the, the black women don't like you. Like I went to a up to school with a whole bunch of black dudes, mm. and we all grew up like there was one percent black people in my school, and all them niggas got other women. They all married, but none of them is black. I, you know, I'm just I just don't want nobody to say that they that it ain't no good men available or whatever and all of that stuff. I just don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. Anton, you don't know this man is a good man. No offense. I don't I know. Do you know. I can look, listen, you know how I was able to tell that he was with a white one. I listen, but I, I know. How many times have you like said this yeah. about somebody that came on panel and in an hour in the stream, you're like, you know what? You're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that guy? <laughs> <He was> like, 
<laughs> because I could listen. Or listen, in a general sense, you know, when we go on about going just based off of the basics, based off of the criteria that women look for when they are looking for a man, he fitted. He exceeds all the basic criteria for what it takes in order to find the right type of guy. Mm-hmm. Now, is he the type of guy that y'all will swipe left or swipe right on when you look at it on an app? Because women don't read profiles. They just swipe real fast, right? Mm-hmm. They don't go by your credentials. They're not going by whether he's whether they match with interests and stuff like that. They're not reading profiles. They fucking swiping left and swiping right real quick. And that's the end of the conversation. And so when they sit here and say, well, it ain't no good men, that's bullshit. It's all bullshit because there's plenty. It, I know too many guys that want to be married, that want to be in a relationship, that don't have no kids, that make a lot of money, that was raised in two parent households, that got their shit together. They don't, you know what I'm saying? And, and they be like, Anton, they not, they don't fuck with me like that, bro. But that's because nobody taught them discernment, if they even know what that means. No one taught them how to pick friends and relationships based on people's characteristics versus the material things and that they have. Like why do you why do you have to be tall? Why you can't just go out in the no, world and just think, see what happens? And I think you have to be. I think. I think if you have that upbringing, like like Devin, right? But you also, and not I'm not I'm just speaking in general. I'm not speaking towards you, but you have that upbringing, like Devin. You know, you're that archetype, but you have edge. I think that gets you the the most success actually in our community. Oddly enough, I think the problem is that people. Um, like who you know grew up in a you know say good neighborhood, good environment. You know, not typical environment of our community. They have um, they don't have they're too far into like this quote unquote squareness. They don't have edge any any edge to them. You know what I'm saying? But the ones that do have edge, like are have 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 a lot of success. Like you know uh, the so called like intellectual you know black black man yada yada. But like girls don't want the good guy. That's just the fact. I think they would look at that oh, right yeah. the lane. Right? Go ahead, Jessica. I'm sorry. Go ahead, babe. No, I was just saying. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. Black women well, hold on, hold on. Watch. Hold on. Watch. Go ahead, Jessica. No, I was just, um, that's why I asked if black women don't like nerdy black men. Um, wouldn't they consider someone like Devin a lane? I'm asking. I'm asking. That's a fair question. Alexandra, in your head, what's going on, baby? I wouldn't consider Devin a lame. I don't think men like him are lame at all. No, a black woman. He married. Chill out. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you got Whoa. real soft. <laughs> she always soft. What you talking about? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's Alex. Majority or minority, Alexandra? Um, that would think he is like. You know, nerdy or whatever. Do you think a majority of black women would be okay with that, or would they pass him over? Um, to be honest, I think a majority of women say that they want a good man, but I think a lot of women lack the discernment to pick one. So, in a lot of cases, he would probably be overlooked because he doesn't have enough edge. And not I knew no, that this fucking you. edge word was coming. Yeah, that's just that's fucked up. a lot of women. I feel like a lot of black women want a man to be <clears throat> all of the things that he is, but you got to sprinkle a little hood, a little, a little just extra. That's what I said. Ever that they're looking for. That, that's what that lady said about and me. That what? I didn't have edge. That, oh, see, that's exactly <laughs> how the fuck is an edge? You gotta, <laughs> it's all, you gotta have a, like you gotta like. You gotta like have moved to the suburbs from the, you know, that kind of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that that was my thing. Like I, I grew up in Brooklyn. I moved to the suburbs in Jersey. Like my mom's hustle, uh, you know, moved to the suburbs in Jersey, like really nice suburbs. I have to, I have this conversation. Have cut off was, Alexandra. <clears throat> gotta have, Sorry that we cut you off, Alexandra. No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, but I think I should give context to my situation. It was like, like I said before, I was like high school sweethearts. So I was with one girl the the you know the mixed one the black and white one and i was with her for you know like i was married for for like five six years 
Um, and then at that point, I was in Washington State, and I don't know if anybody been to Washington State. That's not very predominant with the black population. And that's then after true. that, I was in Italy for three years. So, so yeah, that's yeah. why his environment is not around black women. I was, yeah, I was just about sense. to say that. Though. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's not what he said. He said that he was choosing black women, and they didn't choose back. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, within yeah, within the ones that I tried, like, it, like I noticed, especially especially when I was in Washington, it was like, there's no. I was like, you had to go like try to go, you know, interact and find them in that point in time. And then especially then when I was in Italy, it was pretty much only the other military black women there, which they're a whole different beast in that situation. So it's like, 